Joining us now to discuss Wyoming Congresswoman Harriet Hageman. Congresswoman, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me today. You know, we just aired the moment when President Trump mm -hmm. talked about crime under the Biden administration, how it's exploding, he talked about the DOJ numbers. In the end, he was proven right. Also about the fracking, Kamala Harris said, oh, in 2020, I never said I was going to uh, ban fracking. But in 2019, there is video of her saying that, the, the transgender for the illegals to pay for their operations. She checked a, a form saying, yes, she pushed for transgender surgeries to be paid for for the criminals, right, for prisoners in jail. Talk to me about your frustration seeing that debate. So the frustration lies in the fact that, number one, the, the moderators were obviously so clearly biased, but it also was just dishonest from, from beginning to end. The fact is that the Biden administration has gone to war on affordable energy. So when we focus on something like whether she's going to ban fracking, the EPA and the Department of Energy are doing exactly that as we speak under this administration. She can try to say, oh, well, that really isn't my position. But we know what the EPA is doing. The EPA is trying to shut down our coal-fired and our gas-fired power plants. They're trying to transition us to a, a, a form of energy that, is, that, that isn't feasible, and it's going to create serious problems, just like what you're seeing in Germany. Germany is being deindustrialized because of their failed energy policy, and that's exactly the energy policy that they are implementing under the Biden administration. So for her to try to say, Oh, no, I'm not banning fracking. They're banning oil and gas development right now. The, the number of permits that have been uh, uh, granted under this administration is down 95%. Uh, they just issued the Buffalo RMP resource management plan that would stop all coal mining in the Powder River Basin. The state of Wyoming has 40% of the United States coal reserves, and this administration is attempting to ban our ability to access that affordable energy. So right. it, it is ridiculous to me that she tries to dance around these issues and that the, uh, that the the folks from ABC and these moderators are not even capable of understanding the issues that we're dealing with right now. Right, and this is why we're seeing inflation skyrocketing. Absolutely. How they canceled the Keystone Pipeline. Anything that's transported, the cost of it will go up. They declared war on the fossil fuel industry, so instead we're buying oil, dirty oil, from Venezuela, filling the coffers of a lot of mullah for the mullahs, and we've empowered Iran, which is the number one state sponsor of terrorism. It's all connected. That's why, that's why we're seeing what we're seeing throughout the world. So it is, like you're saying, Congresswoman, it's so much bigger than fracking yes. the detrimental policies that the Biden-Harris regime has implemented. This administration has a moratorium on LNG exports. Right now, that is what uh, Germany and, and a variety of European countries desperately need. So what are they doing? They're turning to Iran. They're turning to Venezuela. They're turning to Russia. So you're exactly right. The policies are already being implemented. That's why we're seeing this. And she knows that she has to win Pennsylvania. So she's lying to the people in Pennsylvania saying, oh, I'm not going to be banning uh, fracking. But it's her administration and their agencies that are doing exactly that as we speak. Right. And Bernie Sanders, he was asked about it like, wow, Kamala Harris, is she abandoning her leftist policies? And he said straight up, he said, no, she's kind of going more in the middle to appear, appeal to, mo to moderates. So he admitted that she's lying, that this is a political campaign ploy. But, you know, uh, I mean, Kamala Harris had a very well rehearsed performance. We saw that. And I want you to take a look at one of Trump's uh, one of the best lines of the night. He slammed her spineless brand of politics while discussing computer chips, which is, of course, another big deal when it comes mm -hmm. to the economy. Take a look at this. We hardly make chips anymore because of uh, philosophies like they have and policies like they have. I don't say her because she has no policy. Everything that she believed three years ago and four years ago is out the window. She's going to my philosophy now. In fact, I was going to send her a MAGA hat. But she's only pretending to go to his policy. Congresswoman, what do you think about what the president said there? So again, we, the Congress, I, I wasn't in Congress yet, but Congress actually passed the CHIPS Act. And part of the purpose of the CHIPS Act was so that there would be domestic production of those resources that we need. The problem is that this administration, between their Department of Labor and their various other federal agencies, have imposed such incredible restrictions upon the various organizations and, and businesses 
that would actually produce those that they haven't been able to do so. So that's exactly right, because they have all kinds of LGBTQ requirements. They have all kinds of minority-owned business requirements. And what they've done is they've adopted rules and regulations to make it impossible to actually carry out the legislation that was passed by Congress. So again, it's a very radical administration on almost every single front, whether you're talking energy, whether you're talking domestic manufacturing, whether you are talking food production, whether you're talking resource management, every single thing that they do is as radically leftist as is even remotely possible. We're talking about things today that five years ago, everybody would have said, that's a conspiracy theory. Of course, nobody would do something that, that is that ridiculous. Yet this administration, for example, they're trying to define natural assets for private property, and then they're going to try to sell those to people like Bill Gates and the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, through this natural asset accounting. It's the most bizarre thing, mm. but every single thing they do elevates government, increases the cost of everything, reduces our ability to produce it domestically, and then they turn around and say, well, we just can't figure out why we've got this employment issue. We can't figure out why we have this extreme yeah. in, in, yeah, inflation. Right. I mean, it is de-incentivizing de success mm -hmm. and, and entrepreneurship. They want the government to be your daddy and to be beholden to them. It sounds very familiar. Comma, comma, communism. Congresswoman Harriet Hageman, thank you so much, ma'am, for joining us. Thank you.